Welcome back to Day 6, Mankind Divided. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm just having fun with my pseudo Adam Jensen voice. There's something sort of funny about his voice. It reminds me kind of of Geralt from The Witcher. They sound a bit different, but the kind of general character of their voices are pretty similar, where they're pretty monotone and very gravelly. And yeah, I think you can actually do a, a pretty good Adam Jensen voice. Is it a good Adam Jensen voice? I don't actually know. I'll have to listen to it back and see how it compares. It's probably not as gravelly. Anyway, we've woken up in our apartment uh, just shortly after the train station bombing. Our augments seem to be malfunctioning. As you can see, they're kind of restarting and glitching out and just not behaving correctly, so we're going to need to get that fixed. And our current mission, officially, is just to kind of regroup and assess our injuries and gather our thoughts. So, let's take a look around the apartment. Ooh. What are you stashing down here, Adam? You got some snacks? I see three passports. How not to get yourself killed. Jensen, since there's no point trying to convince you not to do what you're planning to do, I figured I could at least stop you from getting killed too quickly. That is, after all, why you constantly come to me for help, isn't it? What's with the... What's with the... Capitalized words? I wonder if they, like, spell something out. Um... This device contains data I've collected, links which may or may not support your theory that extremely wealthy individuals have man manipulated events and caused everything bad that's happened to us. Maybe sifting through it will let you find them. Oh, holy crap. There's a lot. Oh, wow. There's a lot here. <laughs> well, I'm not sure if I'm going to read it all, but first I want to see if these capitalized things spell out something. No point not figured stop you is constantly come to me links. Huh. Okay. Not really. I guess Pritchard just really likes capitalizing words. Oh, I guess I misunderstood how these page markers work. It looks like you actually ignore the page markers if you scroll up and down. So all the way from the top all the way to the bottom is actually comprises all of these pages. So it's actually not super, super long. I don't, I don't think I'm going to read the whole thing, though. But yeah, just in summary, it's just a bunch of articles about what's been happening with with augmentations and the, uh, well, people fighting against augmentation and augmented people and the corporations, the corporations fighting back and etc, etc. So it looks like Seraph Industries has closed its doors, by the way. It looks like it shut down, and I'm pretty sure they were a big player in the augment industry in the previous game, a couple said a couple years ago, I think. Also, world's number one augmented private military corporation declares bankruptcy after the AUG incident. Biotech industry collapses. Yeah. Sweet, I got a hundred scholar points. <laughs> Anon74 at HackerNet. If you're reading this, Breton, it means you got our little welcome package. Good. Now you know what mark to leave if you need to get in touch. Memorize those sites, but use them sparingly. We got other people using them too. In a few days, the pilot will contact you. You met her once before. Spanish girl with a large sidearm in Detroit. She's solid, trustworthy, and very capable. We're getting her false papers and a job at Lebedev Global. Figured you might need someone permanent watching your back. I'm glad you're doing this, Breton. I know you still don't trust us, but we know the TF is tied to our common enemy's activities. Find... Find out how and we'll bring them down together. Just like we did with Bell Tower. Oh, Bell Tower was the name of the private military organization that was mentioned in those news articles, the one that shut down. Open blinds. 
Good morning, Adam. You have one new message. From? David Sarif. <sighs> Play it. Sarif? Adam, it's David. I know it's been a while, but uh, after what happened in Prague yesterday... Look, son, whatever reasons you've had for not getting in touch these last two years, well, life's too short. I'm leaving for London soon, but uh, give me a call. You saved his vid call number? Yes, Adam. Just activate your TV system. Wait, so Adam's the son of someone who I'm assuming is one of the founders of Seraph Industries? I'm sure that's not a revelation if you remember Human Revolution, but I do not remember it. <laughs> that seems pretty big. Hmm. Well, maybe I'll speak with him in a little bit. Let's take a look around at some other stuff first. A book about learning to let it go. Oh, sweet. Some pistol EMP ammo just stuffed in the dresser. Sellable hydraulic micro pump. So, does stuff like that go into my main inventory or. It does. Hmm. Huh. Looks like Adam liked tinkering with watches. Lots of watches and little watch parts all over the place and small tools. Also, a motherboard. Of course, of course, Adam has a coffee mug that literally says coffee on it. Adam is the most boring person in the world. Sixty nine credits. Nice. Ooh. It's gorgeous out there. Well, sort of. The colors are gorgeous, I guess. Some things aren't, like the boarded over windows and stuff. That building looks like it's in pretty bad disrepair. Medication, ooh. You can replenish health instantly by using painkillers or a hypo stim. Okay, so they're like a probably not as good replacement for a hypo stim injector. Painkillers, open the quick menu, V, click on a painkiller, okay, single use, disappear after activation, makes sense. What am I even washing? No, turn it off. There's actually clothes in there. Ooh, what are the power outlets of the future? Something entirely different from anything we have now. Juggernaut Collective. Yeah, so the Juggernaut Collective is what... Uh, I forgot their name, but the person that we met at the train station right before the explosion. They're with the Juggernaut Collective. I don't know if we are as well, but they're a collective trying to basically look out for augmented people's interests. Interpol case file. The Juggernaut Collective originated in the early 2020s when a hacker named Eli posted a badly written call to arms type message on the darknet. Filled with misspellings and grammatical errors, it invited the those disillusioned with the stranglehold one percenters have on our world to join him in attacking, exposing, and spoiling their plots. The group first made headlines in 2025 by hijacking atmospheric processors used by a popular weather artist in Paris and sending hurricane force winds to decimate a Page Industries sponsored event. Around the same time, Eli was replaced online by a new nom de plume, or however you pronounce that, Janus. Ah, efforts to ascertain the real world identity of either hacker have thus far proven unsuccessful. Under Jan is it Janus? Under Janus's leadership, the collective have become increasingly effective at bankrupting Fortune 500 companies, exposing governmental misdeeds, and in general making life difficult for the extremely wealthy. Particularly worrisome to the counterterrorism agencies around the world is growing evidence that the collective 
have been recruiting a number of experienced agents, often with Black Ops expertise, to assist them. Well, I very much like the sound of the Juggernaut Collective, especially the in general making life difficult for the extremely wealthy part. I can get behind that. Super electromagnetic fields. Crafting parts. Adam Jensen definitely seems like a reader. Lots of books. Acronym Goat. Oh, that's the only one I can use. Oh well, that's fine. Oops. <laughs> Movable refrigerator. I don't want to grab my freaking fridge and throw it across the room. It's too heavy anyway, but still. Whoa, it works. I have way too much alcohol on me. I have a lot of alcohol. So, Adam Jensen seems to like alcohol and cereal. <laughs> I think that might be Adam's main diet. Oh, that's the TV. Task Force 29, The Secret Fight Against Global Terrorism. On the 21st of March, 2028, a chain of coordinated bomb attacks exploded in unsuspecting cities and communities around the world. In that terrifying six-hour period, up to 50 low-tech but horribly effective devices destroyed lives and terrorized humanity one after the other. Too much, too late. It was the tragic reason the world finally heated. Highlighted by a press already gorging on stories of bloody terrorism, the lack of communication and cooperation between international, international intel gathering organizations were cited as the primary reason for the March bombings going unprevented. Normally, bound and gagged with political red tape, world leaders reached across political fences as international demand for a unified and collaborative solution aligned across the globe. In the weeks following, UN mediators urgently proposed an international cooperative force with the power to act effectively across borders. Built upon the base of the existing G18, the effort quickly expanded with 11 more willing political participants, and Task Force 29 was born. Okay, so they, Task Force 29 is given the power to act across borders. Turn off that blattery. Smart home. What's this? Hello, homeowner. From the menu, please select the type of setting you wish to change. Uh. Open, close wall panel? As you wish. Ooh. Combat rifle, armor piercing ammo, revolver, ammo. Tranquilizer rifle ammo. Nothing. Secret stashes. Nice. Out of sight, out of mind. Indeed. I'll keep you safe. Shutting doors. Uh, never mind. As you wish. But remember, homeowner, this poses a substantial security risk. Yes, I understand. Uh, let's see, from Christian something. Hey Jensen, sorry not to get back to you before this, been buried in a sea of paperwork, and frankly I'm surprised you're asking. Only met Miller once, via the NSN. Seemed more than competent. He was with the Tactical Assault Group in Australia before the incident. Hell of a marksman, so they say. 
Don't know how he ended up overseeing the Central European office, but then I don't understand how you ended up there either. After Detroit, I figured your SWAT experience and my recommendation would get you in the door, but I thought headquarters would keep you in the States. Sure could use your insider's knowledge of AUG developers to get a handle on the black market suppliers we've been chasing down. Hate to say it, but they're giving us hell. Ah oh well, adapt and react, right? Anyway, not much more I can tell you about Miller. If you do put in for a transfer, let me know first. Maybe I can pull strings. Ah, and they work for Task Force 29. Interesting. Yes, this was Adam trying to fish for information about Miller, the person who gave us the order, I believe, to go to the roof and, and do that mission that we just did. Trying to look for information because the person whose name I forgot that we spoke to at the train station, they seemed very suspicious, saying that I was sent there for a specific reason, not just to do the job, but like something is afoot, somebody's lying. From Errolson Hugh. Adam, thank you for your detailed specifications for the trench coat. As discussed, it will be completed within 10 business days and shipped express. <laughs> Very particular about their coat. Peter Chang. Director Miller said you, you'll you probably come in after a good night's sleep, despite what just happened to you. I have no idea why you would do that. If it was me, TF-29 is the last place I would want to go right now. Don't let the bunker atmosphere fool you. This place is a target. We are all targets. I'm not just being paranoid here, okay? You'll understand when we talk in person. P.S. Related to the above thing we need to talk about, I changed your office password. It's now the name of the band on the shirt Aria wore that time I saw her. The one I told you about. I swear I'm not trying to be cute or cryptic. I'm trying to be safe. Chang. P.S.S. Try running through your home smart system interface again and let me know if you're still getting that armory glitch. Latest firmware should have taken care of it. Last thing I'd want to do in your shoes is leave my apartment without bullets. Ah, oh, it's a little hint to look at the things that I just got. Do I actually need to unlock the doors? I'll keep you safe. Like, it's fine if the keypads are on, because I know the password to my own keypads, right? Okay, I think we're almost ready to go. Oh, right, TV. Call Sarah for just watch TV. The fear, the hatred, the violence. In the northwestern United States, a group of non-augmented citizens, armed with assault rifles, have begun patrolling the streets of Lewistown, Montana. They claim the U.S. government is not doing enough to protect them from augmented crazies. In China, meanwhile, a group of protesters demanding freedom and basic human rights for all, regardless of augmented status, have been imprisoned by the Chinese government. In apparent retribution for that act, vigilante hackers tied to the Juggernaut Collective have crashed the Shenzhen Stock Exchange. Yes, folks, these are troubled times indeed. This is Eliza Kassan, reporting to you live from Picus. Did Eliza just wink at the end of that? Adam! Thanks for calling me back, son. Seraph. I heard about the bombing in Prague. It's all over the news. Did anyone you know get hurt? You know me. I tend to keep to myself. I'm surprised you even know I'm here. Interpol called me when you applied for the job, part of their extensive background checks. I gave you a glowing recommendation. Thanks. What do you want? What do I want? Jeez, Adam! I know I did some questionable things in the past, but a lot's happened in the last two years. To both of us. You've obviously landed on your feet, though. Unlike a lot of other people. I've been lucky. I almost died in Panchea waiting for the rescue teams to dig me out. And I lost a lot of time after recovering from my injuries. You went back to Detroit, you saw what happened to Seraph Industries. I gotta look at it, briefly. Humanity was afraid of the potential we offered, and they lashed out. Broke into the building, stole what they could, and burned the rest. Those vultures at Tai Young Medical gobbled up what was left. 
Sometimes a dream has to die so a new one can rise from the ashes. Your message said you were going to London. Casual trip, or is this tied to the new dream? I'm uh, meeting with the Santo group, Nathaniel Brown and his investors. Santo? They built the Udalek complex, the Og Ghetto, here in Prague. Why are you meeting with them? Brown's got big plans. He wants to focus on real solutions, ideas that look to the future. Y you've heard of the Safe Harbor Initiative? I've heard of Rabia. The walled city he and his company are building in the desert for Augs? Rabia's just a part of it. We're talking about self-sustaining, energy-efficient arcologies that can be replicated anywhere on Earth. Cities built by the Augmented for the Augmented. Where the dream of self-controlled human evolution lives on. It may not seem like it right now, son, but one day, people will move on from the incident. And when that happens, we'll be ready for it. I'm glad we caught up, Adam. I've always tried to look out for you, you know. That bombing yesterday. You didn't call to talk about the bombing. Just ask. It's nothing, really. I, I just need a signature so I can finish filing the bankruptcy paperwork. You need my signature? Yeah, apparently there was some kind of bureaucratic mix-up caused by you being declared legally dead for a year. The apartment in Detroit was leased in your name, even though we paid for it. Fine. Send me the paperwork. Thanks, Adam. I appreciate it. Really. Goodbye, Seraph. Seraph just oozes douchiness. I mean, Christ, they're wearing like a gold colored shirt. Ugh. So, yeah, apparently they're involved with, or about to be involved with, the people behind Rabia, which is the place we just were. Interesting. There's got to be something there. Something to that, or they. They wouldn't be giving us that information. Miller, it's Jensen. It's good to finally hear from you, Agent. You doing okay? Sorry about the downtime. I'll get to the office as soon as I can, but my Augs took a hit during the attack. I need to get them looked at. Of course. There's a lot of work ahead of us, Jensen. I'll see you when you get in. Dr. Kohler, I need to pay you a visit. Jensen! Now's actually a really good time for me, like right now! Something wrong? There are some guys in my bookshop. Pissed off the valley gangster looking guys. So, unless you want bloodshed the day after a terror attack... The front door isn't the most peaceful option. I got it. Okay. I already got problems to solve. Problems on top of problems. Is it just me or that person look like... I don't know, it looks like they're spying on me. Yeah, probably nothing. So I was taking a look at this database in the menu, and it gives you a nice summary of kind of all of the different avenues of information that you found. Ebooks, emails, pocket secretaries, etc, etc. And there's one here for the Whisper Chip, which is a thing we got from, I think their name was Alex Vega? The person we met at the train station? Yeah, technology, technologically advanced listing device created by Janus. Okay, current goal is actually, is the goal even marked right now? I wouldn't be surprised if the goals aren't showing up normally because our, our HUD and our augments are malfunctioning. Ooh, plane. Umíte česky? Pomůžete mi? Já se ztratila. I'm sorry, I don't. Jestli mi nepomůžete, tak to prostě řekněte. We can't help just say so. I can't. I don't know how. Jestli mi nepomůžete, tak to prostě řekněte. See, I gotta keep in mind that I don't actually have to take the stairs necessarily. I could just jump down. My si pojistku platíme vždycky včas. Vždycky. Ooh. A nikdy jsme je nevybírali. Teď ji potřebujem. Could I? I, I'm assuming this is their apartment or somebody's apartment. Can I just... Well, if they say they're lost, then it can't be their apartment, right? Because it should be right outside of it. So they shouldn't mind if I hack it. Right? I'm so going to hack this. I love hacking and sneaking my way into other people's apartments. Whoa. 
Whoa. There's two of them. Hmm. Well, this should be fine, right? Likvidátor škodu no, tam byl, ale že by něco hlásil, jsem ještě neslyšel. Yeah. Yeah, we're fine. Oh. So my special vision augment actually works even though my stuff's malfunctioning. Okay. Oh, there's someone actually in here. Whoa. Wait, is that a body? Uh oh. I don't think they're gonna hear me if I walk around. What are these notes? Character three. Giant laser? <laughs> what? Lots of cases of beer and... The void which binds. Is this person group of some, like part of some a, a cult maybe? Syllable stem processor chip. Breach software. Oh, what's that? Database. Uh, use the mouse to select breach software and track your progress. Can be sold for credits. Collecting them all will unlock content in the alternate breach mode. Huh, I don't know what that is and I don't think I really care? Man, it is impressive just how much stuff there is in this game. Like how much stuff there is in this environment to look at. So many little details, I want to read like every magazine cover. Secret Sin Eater Star is actually an AUG! Can't use their computers, right? Oh no, this one I can. Security rating three. Hmm. Oh. Security rating too high. Oh, I can't even try to hack it. Okay. So I can manually enter the password. So I could try to guess it. How about the void? Oh, that took up one of my attempts. Crap. All right, I'll just leave that there. Wet trash. Nice. <laughs> I love that you can activate like everything. Every kind of utility. It wouldn't surprise me. If the password is just written on one of these post-it notes. I tried the void. I could just try void, god. Seems awfully short for a password though. Do not give up faith in the church. You gave us the means for ourselves. Do not veer now. I pray that the mother will change her mind. Ah, cultist. I don't think they're gonna try to kill me? The singularity is near, Sever. No. You must hang on. Oh, they're not actually dead. There is all the disease over Joseph. them, that means they're, they're just unconscious. I just stole their credits right in front of this Do person praying over them. In the church. Seeker, you are here to see the builder? He has been asleep, but I cannot wake him. I do not know if he will recover. The mother has said that he has lost faith and that we should shun him. But I cannot abandon so easily. Some of us remember, builder. The builder? 
We will all Ew, find blood packs. Machine gold. Why do they have all sorts of blood packs in there? That's gross. Do not give up faith in the church. So the builder... Yeah, so they were trying to, well, Gave build something. Means for our salvation. All sorts Do of, like, diagrams and... Huh. The singularity is near, Sever. You must Technological angle. consciousness through electric current. We will all find our way to the machine god. I'm gonna try... one more. Let's try Builder. Ah, alright. Just one attempt left. You would not believe the competition that once existed here to rent an apartment. Well, I know it feels like I probably haven't accomplished very much. I spent most of the episode in our apartment, but yeah, that's the way it goes sometimes with these huge AAA games. I feel good that I learned more about Adam Jensen, even if he is a sort of generic protagonist. He's sort of interesting. This place is so interesting, too. It's beautiful looking. I mean, also kind of run down, but like, just graphically, this game's really beautiful. That's interesting, too. I feel so out of place, because I don't speak the language that a lot of these people here speak, and also I'm, I'm an AUG, which... You know, a lot of people really don't like. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.